Hey, what's going on, people? Bear Fox here, and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your Intel HD graphics to get better performance on your laptop or gaming PC. I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to watch it till the end and do not skip any part for better results. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is always downloading the latest drivers for your Intel HD graphics. And for that, you need to go to the link in the description below and you will come to this website. Now, all you need to do is click on get started and it will automatically look for your Intel HD graphics and download the software for you guys. Now, all you need to do is install the latest version of your drivers and you are good to go. Step number two is the essential Windows settings. And for that, you need to open up settings on your Windows. And the really first thing that you're looking for right over here is the Windows update section. Simply click on it and make sure that you're always up to date with your Windows. Windows by default has a lot of bugs and they are regularly keeping it fixed by the upcoming Windows updates. So some of these bugs may cause your FPS loss and updating your windows may fix them. Right after that you need to click on gaming section, click on Xbox game bar and make sure that this is turned off since it is a drastic FPS consumer. So you can simply turn this thing off, go back. Now make sure that your game mode is turned on since this will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background and underneath that click on graphics and over here click on change default graphics settings and make sure that both of these options are turned on. This will utilize your GPU over your CPU for games and this option will help you to reduce your input latency. Next step is deanimating your windows and this is really helpful since windows has a lot of useless animations and you do not really need it in terms of performance. So you can search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and simply open this thing up. Now click on adjust for best performance, click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts and this will disable all unnecessary animations on your windows allowing you to save much more memory and much more performance. Also in the advanced section for processor scheduling make sure that it is set to programs since it could be by default set to background services. Now next step is system configuration and for that you need to search for system configuration on your PC and once this small window opens up click on boot click on advanced option click on number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available for you guys. It will be really beneficial also click on services click on hide all microsoft services and make sure to disable as many services as you can since this will also save a lot of your pc's performance next step is creating a restore point and this is really simple simply search for create a restore point on your pc select your local disk c click on configure and then make sure the turn system protection is enabled simply click on create and name it intel hd optimization just so you can remember it and simply click on create i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step since it is really beneficial for recovering your pc in case you have any issues with the fps pack now let's come to the next step that is the new intel hd optimization pack which contains the latest intel hd optimization files and you can download it from the link in my description below if you are facing any issues downloading this pack you can always join my discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial once you've downloaded it, simply open it up, go to the GPU optimization section and over here you will find two registries. First one is low med and second one is med high. Now you need to comment your PC specifications down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one that you need to choose from. I have also left an option to default registries. You can always come back and set it from here. Now go back to the Intel HD optimization pack. Let's move to the second folder which is the Intel CPU priority. Now you need to run this one since this will optimize your CPU to consume optimal power and give you better performance. Lastly is the registries and in here you need to run all of these registries since all of them will help you to increase your PC performance. Next step is the best Intel HD graphics control panel and for that you need to go to display and once you are here go to display settings and then click on basic. Now for resolution choose your native resolution and then for the refresh rate choose the maximum refresh rate available for your PC. Then you will find scaling and you need to click on maintain display scaling right over here. Now once you're done with that, go to colors and then for the saturation, you can increase this a little bit just to get better colors and better in-game look. Now you need to click on apply and then click on yes. Now next thing, you need to go to 3D and then over here for application optimal mode, you need to click enable and for general settings, click on performance. This will help you get better performance. Simply click on apply and then click on yes. Now go back and then open up power. 
Now once you are in here, now for the graphics power option you need to click on maximum performance and once you click on it, go back to on battery and then do the same over here. Click on maximum performance and then simply click on apply and then click on yes. Go back and now for the video settings, you need to go on that, go to basic and right over here, click on application settings and then for the input range you need to select application settings once again so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button we'll see you guys in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out